Things at Mattel on TV. I'm here with the legendary and one of the most sweetest men I know, Bob Tyrell. Aww. <laughs> How important do you think it is for artists to attend seminars regularly? I, th I mean, it's it's important. Anything you can do to uh, improve, to improve your uh, your skills, you know, whatever. Um, you know, I've taken seminars, and they're. Do you still take seminars? Um, I have. I want to still. And yes. I usually get so busy at conventions, I don't have time, you know. So, but there are seminars I want to take still, you know. And um, right. I've taken Nikos before and stuff, and I just you know, I've learned quite a bit. Incredible, amazing, and kind, sometimes kind, big us. Wow. What do you want? Sometimes? Sometimes. I mean the crazy, how about crazy? Maybe, You're kind of crazy. Maybe sometimes crazy. Sweet, amazing, kind, humble, <laughs> beautiful, big us. I don't know about beautiful. I don't know about that. What is this beast you're working on right now? Uh, some Day of the Dead tattooing, you know. It looks awesome. Thank you. And what do you think of the Pittsburgh convention this weekend? Oh, uh, it was cool. I like the town. It reminds me of Batman. It does. Yeah. They filmed Batman here, didn't they? Yeah. We just found out that they filmed the last Batman here, which is pretty cool. I fucking love that movie. It's so good. And I remember a conversation we had about hidden penises and tattoos. How many times have you done that? What? Maybe like a thousand times? <laughs> you're all, all the time. You better check your tattoo when you get home. Genius, super talented gunner. Oh, How thank you? you very much. That's really nice. Hey, tell me what you're working on right now. Uh, we're doing a little burning house in the woods. <laughs> uh, I think it might be a, a Witch's house down the lane. Oh, when Witch's we, house, like Hansel and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel, yeah, maybe next sitting. Then you gotta throw some candy on the walls. Yeah, we do, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Put some Skittles and gumdrops. That's it. <laughs> what do you think of the Pittsburgh convention this weekend? It was fun. I um, actually did a seminar all day yesterday um, for painting and then tattooed the other day, but I've been staying busy, so I can't complain. Russ Abbott and uniquely talented your pieces you can spot them like you know when it's you you know what I mean tell me what you're working on right now right now I'm working on Mark's uh, back of his neck we're doing an eye with some ornament coming out of it just kind of tying into this full back piece that we did over the last year, he's got a uh, full Lord. skull. That's amazing.
for artists to attend seminars regularly? I mean, it's it's important. It's it's not like super important word. You'll edit this out, right? I mean, what am I trying to say? <laughs> um, Food of Champions. Food of Champions? Cheetos, if you're listening. Me gustan los Cheetos muy caliente con limón. Por favor, sponsor me. <laughs> Go back to your true calling, which mine, I'm going back to making kitchen countertops. Shut up. This whole tattoo thing's getting old. If you sucked at tattooing, you would be a rock star. You would be in a band, a metal band, rocking out every night, drinking whiskey all day. That would be you. I would. You would. But I'd have to have a day job and pay the bills, because yes. playing a band doesn't really pay shit. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no? What the <laughs> Do you recommend that artists attend seminars regularly? I'm shocked that more artists don't attend seminars. That's what I feel like. I cannot, I don't understand. There's a million kids out there that never leave their shop to grow. And where the, like, people need education. Exactly. And they get none. And they look through Instagram and think they can learn something by stealing shit and never learn how to do it themselves. I don't know. I, find, ridiculous. I think it's really crazy, yeah. yeah. Would be your day job. Uh, I've got something better than making countertops. So, uh, Porn. What's that, porn? <laughs> um, I would want to be a, a male gigolo. I a think, male gigolo yeah. would be fun. Yeah. That'd be fun. You're saving women's lives. You know that, right? Changing their lives for the better. Yep. Yeah. Touching be, hearts and Pikachu's guy. around the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you could tattoo, if you can tattoo any dead celebrity, who would it be? Well, I'd say Jimi Hendrix, but yes, that's a good one too. But. Jimi Hendrix. You mean tattoo the celebrity? Like, Any dead celebrity. Jimi Hendrix is a good one. You mean do, like me, do a portrait of Jimi no, Hendrix? No, tattoo him. I wouldn't pick Hendrix cause, uh, just because he's got darker he's skin. and because he's black. Um, <laughs> I'll have to say Dimebag Daryl. So Dimebag Daryl, that's a good one. Any hair tattoos, maybe like do yeah. his, his neck or his face or something. That would be awesome. His penis. Tattoo, you would tattoo Dimebag Daryl's penis, wouldn't you, Bob? Uh, you know, I s said I would never tattoo a penis. Unless, but it well, there's a ten thousand dollar handling fee. If I got ten grand, I would probably do it. I feel like he would pay. Daryl, I would do whatever the fuck you wanted. Because he was a fucking, he was a cool. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's one of my favorites. I would touch Daryl's penis. You would touch it without tattooing it. You would do it. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs>